If you join us with, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Somebody asked me, um, sitting in president today, they said, you know, Mr. Painter, we see that gavel in front a lot of times. We've never seen anybody use it. So I just wanted to say this meeting of January 23rd, Wednesday, 2019, is now open. <clears throat> We'd start the agenda with item number B with the approval of regular session minutes for the week of 1-17-2019 for the meeting that was conducted on that date. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. A second been moved and second any discussion roll call please mr humphrey aye mrs corcoran yes mr painter yes moved item number c public participation if there's anyone here today would like to participate in this meeting that has come here today one of our citizens or public if you would please move to the podium here to my right and state your name and address we would be glad to hear you speak today and we would welcome that opportunity anyone from the public seeing none i'll close the public participation and move right to item number d the consent agenda <clears throat> board members a consent agenda has been been prepared and it has been provided in a draft copy in advance you've had ample time to review it if there are any items that you would like to have removed from that consent agenda please indicate so and we will move them into the non-consent for discussion if there are none i would uh, entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented i make that motion second it's been moved and seconded judy mrs corcoran yes mr humphrey aye mr. Painter. yes <clears throat> i'll move to the non-consent agenda <clears throat> which starts on page six, item number eight, please. A recommendation that the Board of County Commissioners adopt resolution number 007-19, resolving to approve payment and vendors in the total amount of $1,984,263.40, as set forth in the BCC approval invoice for the checks dated January 23rd, 2019. BCC directed prepayment invoice reports, vendor invoice list reports, items paid by fund and check date range report, and our procurement card transition report presented by the county auditor on 12219, and further authorizing the county auditor to issue warrants for the same pursuant to section 319.16, the Ohio Revised Code. You've heard the reading of number eight for the Board of County Commissioners to pay their bills. Do I have a motion? So moved. A second. It's been moved and second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. Item number nine. Morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Michelle Snyder, and I'm the county's records manager. And item nine is a recommendation to approve the request to advertise for bids for furnishing, delivering, and installing new shelving and records relocation services for the new Claremont County Records Center. And to authorize the clerk of the board to place a legal notice in the newspaper on January 31st, scheduling a non-mandatory pre-bid meeting on February 7th at 10 a.m. with bids to be received until 2 p.m. on February 21st in the office of the Board of County Commissioners. <coughs> board, you've heard the reading of item number nine. Do I have a motion for approval? So moved. A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any conversation or discussion? <clears throat> what do you think, Michelle, what do you think about the new record center? Have you it's been over exciting. there and take a look at it? It's exciting. Yeah, it's looking great. And we're, um, we're kind of out of space where we're at, so we're going to have room for everybody's records, and it's, it's going to be very nice. I had understood with the installation of these shelves that there had been a, uh, there'd been a suggestion or maybe a need to maybe lay those shelves out a little differently than what people yeah. first thought but when Absolutely, it was yeah, determined that the ceiling right, right. lights interfered with that 
Yeah, we were able to, to work it so it worked out well for everybody. The new shelving is more efficient, so it's more condensed. It doesn't leave as big of a footprint, so you're able to actually get more in the space, which is ideal for our operation, which continues to grow. So, Great, great. Any further conversation or discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. Thanks, Michelle. Thank Item number 10. Morning. 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 Craig Reisner, County Engineer's Office. Item number 10 is a recommendation of Craig Stevenson, Deputy County Engineer, with concurrence of Thomas J. Agle, County Administrator, to reduce the weight limit on a county bridge, C930, I'm sorry, 0 .079, located on Newtonsville Hutchinson Road in Stoneman Township. It's a reduction from 60 tons to 28 tons. You've heard the reading of item number 10. Do I have a motion? Make that motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? Roll call, Judy. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. <clears throat> Item number 11. Item 11 is a recommendation of Patrick J. Munger, County Engineer, with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igel, County Minister, <coughs> to execute record plat number 6293111 for the replat of lots in the following subdivision in Union Township. It's a uh, Gorman Commerce Park Subdivision, uh, replat of lot numbers 13, 14, and 15. You've heard a reading of number 11. Do I have a motion? I make that motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Item number 12. Item 12 is a recommendation of Patrick J. Monger, <laughs> County Engineer, with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igle, County Administrator, to execute record plat number 6293112 and 6293113 for three plats of lots in the following subdivision in Union Township. It is Willowbrook sub subdivision uh, section 4, replat of lots 157 and 158, and both of these are for Transportation Improvement District highway easements. You've heard the reading of item number 12. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any further conversation or discussion? Judy? Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 13. Morning, Jim. Good morning. How's everyone? Good, Great. you? Nice to meet you, Mrs. Corcoran. I've nice never to met you, you before. Um, this is uh, number 13. This is the recommendation of Robert S. Leahy, and I'm going to summarize this um, as I was instructed to by Suki. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because apparently it's quite long, and it is. Uh, detailed. It, it is detailed. Uh, but the recommendation of uh, Robert S. Leahy, County Sheriff, with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igel, County Administrator, to execute. Um, Let's see here. Contract. To execute the contract for law enforcement services by and between the Board of County Commissioners, the County Sheriff, Board of Franklin Township Trustees, and the Franklin, or excuse me, Felicity Franklin Local School District for the provision of one contract deputy to share services between Franklin Township and the Felicity Franklin Local School District, for which the Board of Franklin Township Trustees and the Felicity Franklin Local School District shall be responsible for cost uh, that is detailed below <laughs> and it is it's it's quite unique uh, situation and uh, I'll finish reading this first uh, and this is for a period of three years commencing 7-1 uh, of 2018 as you can see we've been working on it for a while uh, since July and through it's three years through 6-30-2021 pursuant to the terms and conditions set forth herein in compliance with section 311 of the Ohio Revised Code. It started out in July to be a law enforcement contract between the sheriff and uh, Franklin Township. Franklin Township and the school had apparently gotten together and the school wanted to give the township money so that the deputy could uh, be at school uh, during the beginning of school and at the end of school when kids are let out and why they're there. 
it, uh, after they got into those discussions, uh, the township attorney got with uh, me and said they can't do it, it's against the ORC. That then precipitated all of us trying to work together, uh, and thank you, Suki, because it, it's quite detailed, as you see, in trying to divide things up and, you know, giving the school 690 hours and taking the rest and trying to divide it up. And so anyway, it was a little detailed, it took us a little bit to get uh, together, especially the writing of it so that it made sense. But uh, that is what is before you uh, today. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid. First, first time we've had a hybrid, I think. And it supersedes, thank you, Judy. Yep. And it supersedes the July 1st contract that we did with Franklin Township. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Board, you've heard the reading of item number 13 and the paraphrasing as directed by Suki Sheets. Um, <laughs> do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? Judy? Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number 14. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yvonne Smith, Benefit Plan Coordinator for Claremont County. This is my recommendation with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igo, County <laughs> Administrator, to authorize David Painter, President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a tuition assistance application submitted by the following employees for participation in the Claremont County Tuition Assistance Program, pursuant to Section 4.12 of the Claremont County Personnel Policy and Procedure Manual. And those are uh, employees are uh, Angela Leipzig from the Juvenile Court, Taylor Lee from the Prosecuting Attorney Office, and Joseph O'Brien from the Community and Economic Development Department. Board, you've heard the reading in item number 14 for uh, approval of tuition reimbursement here in Claremont County. Do I have a motion? So moved. A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? This is a great thing. You know, people working for the county and continuing to go to school and, and uh, not only to move their knowledge base, but to, uh, to move them also and give them opportunity. We've had an increase, Yvonne, when you say in the past year of people yes. Yes. going back Doing to that. school, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Painter? Yes. Item number 15. Thank Thanks, Yvonne. Item 15 is a recommendation to authorize Commissioner Painter to execute a satisfaction of mortgage and authorize the recorder to release the mortgage of record for the property at... 6659 Manila Road in Goshen, and this relates to the Claremont County Community Housing Improvement Program. You've heard the reading of item 15. Do I have a motion, please? I'll make that motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? If not, Judy? Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Item number 16. 16 is a recommendation to ratify the appointments of our deputy dog wardens for the county and this is in compliance with section 955.12 of the higher revised code and in concert with a contract with claremont animal care humane society and our deputy dog wardens are paul meyer aaron grawl and terrell jones and uh, paul meyer actually is no longer a deputy dog warden but this was effective during his term you've heard the reading of item number 16 do i have a motion so moved second been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. Item 17. Good morning. Mary Raines from the Office of Management and Budget. Item number 17 is a recommendation to uh, provide supplemental appropriations for fiscal year 19 and authorize Linda Fraley to record them in the ledger. Uh, the first is in the Sheriff's Road Patrol sal overtime salaries and fringe benefits. Save $1,004.80 in overtime and $1,564.94 in fringes. And it's an Ohio Department of Public Safety grant for opiate related vehicle enforcement. Oh, sorry. That, uh, 
I scooted back in my seat and it tipped. Hey. So that's 9,569.74 in total for the uh, uh, Department of Public Safety grant awarded to the Sheriff's Office for this year. Uh, the next one is $18,291 for the Communication Center regular salaries for an employee's retirement payout. And finally, 40000 in the Narcotics Unit Asset Forfeiture Fund, other expenses, and uh, they're using those forfeiture funds due to the drug unit grant being reduced and uh, costs continuing to climb in that area. Okay. You've heard the reading of item 17 for supplemental appropriations for fiscal year 2019. Do I have a motion? Make the motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further conversation or discussion? <coughs> Judy? Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> we have finished with the non-consent agenda and we move into item number F on the agenda executive session pursuant to 121.22 G1 and G3 of the Ohio Revised Code to one consider the employment dismissal discipline or compensation of one or more public employees and two to confer with the prosecuting attorney regarding pending or intimate lit litigation respectfully do I have a motion to enter into executive session? So moved. A second. It's been moved and seconded. There's no need for any conversation or discussion. Judy? Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. We are in executive session. We will return. We are back from executive session. No decisions were made. <clears throat> we will move on with the agenda. Tom, are there any add-ons that need to come before the board today? Yes, we have a, a couple of personnel actions for the board to consider in the Department of Job and Family Services, James Lane, facilitator termination probation removal effective 123-19, and Denise Stanley, employee services consultant to probation probation extension effective 25-2019. We'll take, we'll take first things first. If you could uh, read the first one back there again. Uh, James Lane, facilitator, termination, probation, removal, effective 123-2019. You've heard the uh, reading of the add-on. Do I have a motion? So moved. A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or conversation? <clears throat> Judy? Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. <clears throat> and the second one? Denise Stanley, Employee Services Consultant 2, Probation, Probation Extension, Effective 2 5 2019. You've heard the reading of the second add on. Do I have a motion? I make that motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. And I understand that this uh, probation extension is for uh, mentoring in a job. Is that yes, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Additional 60 days. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Questions? Judy? Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Painter? Yes. Anything further to come before the board today? No, sir. Seeing none, I will move, uh, ask for a motion to uh, adjourn this meeting. i make Go ahead. a second. <laughs> we do it all the time. <laughs> Mr. Humphrey, you moved and <laughs> yes, Ms. Corcoran, you, you second. It's been, it's been moved and second. Judy? Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Corcoran? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. And that concludes the Claremont County Board of Commissioners meeting for 123-19. Have a great day and be safe. Thank you.